The True Meaning of Sex Published on July 27, 2019, by Carl Donk If I were to tell you that, contrary to what you probably believe, you are having sex almost 24 hours a day, every day, would you believe me? You're probably shaking your head right now thinking to yourself that I've finally gone completely insane. Well, don't be too quick to jump to conclusions because this post may cause you to change your mind. Most people think that the word sex is a synonym for having intercourse, mating or fucking, i.e., the act of a man and a woman coming together in intimacy where the man puts his penis into a woman's vagina. But if we look at the etymology of the word sex, we find that this is not what the word really means. The word sex comes from the Latin word sexus, which itself derives from the word seeker, which means to cut, cut off, sever, split, divide in two. Michel Devan explains. Quote, Seeker seems the more original formation, but it is strange that the older texts only know sexes. The modern meaning of secti, division, suggests that sexes might derive from seeker, to sever, but the morphology remains unclear. Does sexus go back to an s present seques, to cut up, or was it derived from a form sex of the putative s stem underlying secus? By Michel Devan, Etymological Dictionary of Latin, and the other Italic languages, Leiden, 2008. End quote. In my post Sexual Suppression and Repression 1, Definition and Origin, I mention several ancient sources that actually describe how a long time ago, humankind was divided into the male and female halves that we have today. Given that knowledge we can be certain that the word sex does indeed refer to this division among humans. So ironically, when men and women are divided and are apart from one another, which is most of the time, that's actually when they are having sex. It's only when a man and a woman come together in intimacy that they are no longer divided and thus no longer having sex. We see that over time, the word sex eventually came to mean the complete opposite of what it used to mean way back in the beginning. Where it used to refer to the division of humans into men and women, it came to mean the union of men and women during intercourse. And this is on purpose. Like I mentioned before, for hundreds and maybe even thousands of years, people have been forced and brainwashed into accepting the opposite in order to frustrate their lives and make it easier for others to control and manipulate them. If you want to hide the truth from people, the farthest away you can hide it is in the complete opposite direction. Doublespeak is an example of this. Quote, Doublespeak is language that deliberately obscures, disguises, distorts, or reverses the meaning of words. Doublespeak may take the form of euphemisms, for example downsizing, for layoffs, and servicing the target for bombing, in which case it is primarily meant to make the truth sound more palatable. It may also refer to intentional ambiguity in language or to actual inversions of meaning. In such cases, doublespeak disguises the nature of the truth. Doublespeak is most closely associated with political language. End quote. So truth becomes a lie, and lies become the truth. Good becomes evil, and evil becomes good. Beneficial information becomes harmful, and harmful information becomes beneficial. God becomes the devil, and the devil becomes God, we actually saw this in my post Apple the occult secrets behind the brand. Consider that if someone is able to convince you that the truth is evil, and that you shouldn't be looking at it, something we find in most religions, it becomes much more difficult for you to eventually find and realize the truth because it will require a lot of courage to go into a direction that you're not supposed to go, especially when you can get punished for it. If you can control the language and the meaning of words, you can control people's minds. People's minds can be programmed through language, just like a computer. We saw this in George Orwell's book, 1984, where he mentioned the concept of doublethink, which is where the above-mentioned doublespeak comes from. History can be changed by simply changing the meaning of one word, fooling people into living in an alternate and fake reality. When you do enough research, you'll find that in many cases, things aren't what they appear to be, 
and we find ourselves surrounded by constant deception. The word sex is a very important case of this since it leads to the root of our suffering. It's very important for people to come to realize the true meaning of the word sex so that we can use it in the right contexts. This will aid in understanding the truth about what happened in our ancient past and the way in which we're still being manipulated and enslaved today. Thank you for listening. This article was originally published on Carl Donk's blog at blog.carldonk.com. Remember to visit for regular updates. You can also find this content published on archive.org and lbry.tv. Remember to save a local copy of this video and any other content that you would like to continue to have access to in the future. You never know, those goddamn motherfuckers in big tech might censor this content in the future.